Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Lawson's Finest Liquids. This is Super Session number eight. So this is their Super Session Session IPA, 4.8%, but it is brewed with mosaic hops. So one of my favorite hops. Now this one is actually outside, uh, brewed out from the Two Roads facility. So not actually brewed in Vermont uh, to even have this beer available, obviously at so many places in the Northeast. It has to be brewed at Two Roads. Um, cool enough that you would think Years ago, Lawson's Finest Liquids was so hard to find. I remember my first trip driving up there, going to the market, buying bottles specifically from Sean Lawson himself. And then now it's being brewed at Two Roads and I was at the store the other day and there were cases and cases of it all over the place. So nice problems to have. Beer comes in a uh, light to medium, uh, deep gold color actually. Deep gold color, uh, nice clarity to that. Let's get the aroma on this one. Oh wow, yeah. That is mosaic, four days. Has a very specific note. For me, it has a little bit of berry, tart kumquat. Yeah, there is this just like, there is an underlying um, like sugary sweetness, so a little bit of sugar uh, powdered over some berries. Wow, it's, it's very distinct and it's hard to describe because it has just something that is not simply citrus or tropical. It is a little bit different. It almost has that kind of interesting tweak at some of these um, Australian and New Zealand hops have. It's just like out of this world, very distinctly mosaic, if that makes any sense. There's maybe a little bit of chive and garlic. But no, it's some friendly fruitiness and yeah. Oh no, back there, there is that kind of weird, like stinky herb thing. Almost like, not quite blue cheese, but like, what am I thinking? Um, like leeks or something like that? Yeah. And then there, there's just that interesting fruitiness that's very fun, huh? Yeah, again, it's like berry, pear, uh, kumquat. It's interesting, cheers. Falls on the palate, um, not as fruity, obviously. Um, mostly uh, lays on the aromatics on the palate. Yeah, it, it, it's inviting. Again, a little bit of that like a berry candied flavor. So maybe like strawberry, blueberry candy. There's a little bit of like light biscuity uh, quality in the middle, a little bit of chewiness. Tinge of sweetness as well. Some honeyed sweetness, which actually rides a little bit past the uh, mid palate. On the back end, there is a little bit of uh, bitterness on this one. Medium to medium minus bitterness. Complexity of the, of the mosaic hop is quite nice. Just like the aromatics, it goes on to that earthy, herbaceous kind of quality. Transitioning from fruitiness, from that fruity quality up front. Um, yeah, even more, uh, as I drink it more, it's even like uh, tangerine candy. It has just this interesting candied note that I uh, keep going back to. Uh, concentrated fruit flavors, uh, berries. Uh, malt in the middle, some honey biscuit. Not overly sweet, lays on that light session IPA, watery IPA kind of thing that a session IPA is tend to do. Then transitioning onto the back end, you get more of these uh, mature flavors, a little bit, yeah, but more earthy, um, even leading towards some pine and resin. Very fun, tr fun transitioning on this one. It has that light quality on the aromatics, but then it moves on to that flavor on the back and there is a little bit of body on this one. This is a great session IPA. You might get tired of it because it is just so mosaic. It is a little bit like, you know, you're just constantly drinking mosaic. You're going to be going after can after can of just mosaic. Whereas some other hops are a little bit more rounded and they just make the beer taste a little bit more like quote unquote hoppy beer. Granted, there'll be tasting notes, but this is just very specifically you know, you have this and just think mosaic and that's all you can think of and your burps taste like mosaic. Whereas, you know, some other pale ale session IPAs, IPAs, they're a little bit more round round and, and, and um, neutral in their bandwidth of flavors. This is very specific. Uh, and so, yeah, maybe, maybe you still have a few cans, maybe not the full six pack, who knows, but delicious stuff. I'm very much enjoying it. Definitely one of the better session IPAs I've had recently. Yeah, it's a beer you want in the fridge all the time. Let's go 93 on this one. Absolutely fantastic. This is super session number eight. Until next time, cheers. Later.